you know, we talk about biting down on our mouth guards and lock our jaw up and our chin and getting in tight seams when you're trying to hold players up and jackle them and getting under the ball. All of that stuff is so important. Whereas we're ripper rugby straight into contact. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, you know, and we're talking about concussion now and it's a big thing. Well, let's go, okay, let's go right back. Is ripper rugby helping? Understanding individuals bodies everyone's different got different body shapes and flexibility and whatnot what's some of the work you do to help the guys understand their body their strengths and and maybe where they're vulnerable yeah i think um i think wrestling is really good especially for kids um if we could do more wrestling in schools you know like that's where society's changed a little bit you used to come home and dad would come home from work and you'd wrestle with your son out in the backyard or, you know, (laughs) get a bit of skin off or get in the lounge. I'm not sure that happens as much as it used to. But that builds confidence. And when you've got confidence in your body and your head and your neck strength and all of that, so we do a lot of wrestling work at the Crusaders, 100% we do. It's vital because it's building confidence in your body, contact, and in your head if you've got Confidence in your head, you're going to make tackles. And that's where I believe there'd be a big big point of difference for younger coaches and players and even New Zealand rugby to get wrestling into schools, get the boys wrestling. They love it. And it's reaction time, it's balance. It's all those sort of things which are important to not only scrummaging, but breakdown, neck strength. You know, it's set them up. I grew up with two uh, brothers, so we were WWE wrestlers for our whole upbringing <laughs> in, the, uh, in the bedrooms and wrestling, so I know exactly what you mean. So through the, I suppose, the upbringing of a, a school player at the moment, there's probably no fix of wrestling and getting exposed to that at the moment, is there? No. I reckon there's a real unique opportunity for contact coaches. If you were a specialist if you could provide something around a specialist contact program, a wrestle and run format, um, you could take it anywhere. You know, like, you know, we talk about biting down on our mouth guards and lock our jaw up and our chin and getting in tight seams when you're trying to hold players up and jackle them and getting under the ball. All of that stuff is so important. Whereas we're ripper rugby straight into contact. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, and we're talking about concussion now, and it's a big thing. Well, let's go, okay, let's go right back. Is Ripper rugby helping? That would be my question. Is that setting them up? Why don't we get them set up with wrestling one on one, pick someone your own size, and just do some drills to get them confident? Because that, to me, would be a big part. 